Hello, it is Friday, June 14th, 2024. I'm Chris Bremo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Friday crossword today, which means we're going to be solving the first of two themeless puzzles of the week, and it is brought to us by a real Friday expert, Robin Weintraub. We'll get to that in a moment. And this uh, Friday expert expertly constructed edition of the Daily Salt has been brought to us by Adam and Annette Noble, Noah Bizanson, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incorrigible Sheila Beeler. Thank you so much to the four of them, benefactors of the Daily Salt Patreon campaign, for their generous support, keeping this channel going, sustaining it, making it a part of my daily work. For that, I'm very grateful. Thank you to those four, and thanks to everybody who's a patron of the channel. If you'd like to join their ranks, you can do so at patreon.com slash daily solve, or via the description field link where you will also find a link to the Daily Solve Discord chat server, a nice friendly chat community. Um, but thank you so much to everybody who does support the Patreon campaign at any level. I really do appreciate it. And um, let's see, what else? Uh, it's a big help if you subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Thanks to everybody who's done that over the past few years. I really do appreciate that as well. And having said all that, let's get on to the crossword, which, as I said, is constructed by Robin Weintraub, who's uh, often referred to affectionately as the queen of the Friday, the Friday crossword. And she's constructed, I think, nearly 50 puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited once again by Joel Faliano. We won't have a theme today. Let's start solving. Work on an intaglio. Int intaglio. That's, that's a form of, of art creation, but I don't actually remember. I think it is anyway. It could be something sort of architectural, maybe. Uh, okay, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to come back to it. One who's barely in the picture. A nude, maybe? You know, if you could, if you imagine a photograph of someone who's bare, and I'm not sure that's right. I'm going to try it because I think it might be right. And look at it here. Prestigious prizes. Nobels, maybe. Nobel prizes. Okay, well, that works with nude. Let's see if that holds. Flip over. Un, up, uh, upend. If you upend a table, you, you flip it over. And, whoa. Diethyltulamide, more familiarly. Diethyl tulamide. I don't have a clue what that is. Okay, what about this? Prove one's humanity in a way. Well, as they say, to err is human. So you could prove your humanity by being uh, slightly in error. That is basically the way that those captures work, um, in which you're asked to prove you're not a robot by simply clicking a box. And you think, well, how could that prove anything? And it's just because humans do it in a more erratic and inefficient way, just literally the way your mouse is moved. Um, it's distinct from how a computer would do it. Uh, so there we go. We're sort of proving our humanity through uh, erring, as instructed here. Where a diva is likely to make a scene. An opera something. Opera house? That's probably the case. That would be where a diva would be performing in an opera. All right, here's this again. I don't know still. Fish and chips coating. Beer batter, maybe. You could have uh, beer battered cod or something if you're, as part of your fish and chips. So what is this then? Maybe is nude wrong? No, there's no possible way it could be. What about this? It's bigger than a ding, a dent. So if you imagined a um, you know, dent or a ding, a little imperfection, a scratch in a car, it could be that and a dent bigger than a ding, I suppose. So what is this? D-A-E-T. -E oh, I misspelled opera. Oh, that's embarrassing. Deet. Okay. Is deet hair removal, maybe? I think it might be. I'm not sure. It could be a pesticide. I don't remember which of those two it is. I think it's one of those two things. In any case, I guess I guess it's actually deethyltulamide. And I guess uh, because it starts with sort of deet from the D-I-E-T. Okay, not in English, say. Not in English. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. A little more left, a bit higher. Ah, right there. That that hits the spot. No, that's the spot. Yeah, that's probably it. You could imagine getting a massage or something and, and, and the masseur sort of focusing in on a particular area. Like Piglet. Um, cap the piglet being capitalized makes me think this is the character from Winnie the Pooh, but I'm not, I don't know what we're looking for here. Pair making an appearance in the Iliad. Uh, two eyes. We have a pair of eyes in the sense that the Iliad starts with an eye and has an eye in its third position. P 
hair. And, and the reason I think it's maybe that rather than characters in the work is this question mark, which indicates a bit of punniness. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's Iotas, <laughs> because we're, we're referring to Greek letters, because the Iliad was, of course, a, a, a work of ancient Greece. There we go. Okay, so that, that'll be it. That'll be it. So it's on the right track, but I needed to be a bit more specific. Like Piglet. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Paperless Pup. Paperless Pup. What does that mean? Oh, a mutt. Oh, I see. Paper, papers in the sense of... Uh, breeding papers, I guess, you know, documentation that shows a, a dog's lineage and a mutt, you know, sort of uh, unintentionally bred dog might might not have, so, well, wouldn't have such a thing. Okay, so, ah, uh, I see, you might say. And Best, Act Best Actress nominee in 1992, who won Best Supporting, Ac Best Supporting Actress in 2020. Laura Dern, I guess? I wonder what she was... I wonder what she was nominated for in 1992. Hmm. I'm not sure I found. I feel that would be too early for, for Jurassic Park, too late for Blue Velvet. She probably wouldn't even have, she probably would have been supporting in Blue Velvet anyway. Uh, I don't know. I can't think. I'm not sure I found. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Staten Island is a borough of New York City, and not an English say. Don't know. Off. Miss to um, to miss something off, or off could be a verb to sort of assassinate someone. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, could be. Yeah, could be an adjective or a verb, but I'm not sure what. Renewable agreement. A lease, maybe. You, you could renew a lease to rent your home. So, uh, oh, oh, I see. So if you say maybe less five, you mean off. If you say off five, does that mean minus? I'm not actually sure about this. I could, I could still be wrong. Last doesn't really make sense. This is the only word I can think of that would fit these crosses, but I, I think it must be the answer. Not in English, say. Abs, oh, I see. Not in English class, for instance, hence the say. So saying, not in English, say, not in English, for example, uh, an example of a class from which a student might be absent. Okay, very good. This is what this is what, what Robin Weintraub is, is known for, this kind of very sneaky punniness on Fridays. Okay, minor change, ascent, I suppose, would be a very small bit of change in the sense of cash. And there's another kind of light pun there. Like some territorial land. Not sure. Subject of Obi-Wan's line, that's no moon, it's a space station. That's, of course, from Star Wars, in which uh, Alec Guinness' character observes the Death Star. Okay. Like some territorial land. Oh, seeded. I see. You could cede territorial land to another kind of political entity. Okay. What some premium subscriptions don't include? Sometimes if you subscribe to something... Uh, they don't have ads anymore. Works on a crew. Works on a crew. Not sure. Paper for an animator, perhaps. Perhaps. It feels, again, maybe slightly punny. Make better. Amend edit. I can't, I'm not sure. More than tickle, elate. If, if something tickles you, it sort of amuses you. But if it elates you, it's more than that. It makes you overjoyed. Things in pockets that can be picked. Probably ends with an S, right? Bose competitor. Um, I assume this is referring to Bose, the audio equipment manufacturer. But I'm not sure. Oh, Sonos. They make those, do they make those sort of, what do they call them, sound bars maybe? And they probably make other audio equipment as well. Okay, I think that's right. Sailing vessel. A sloop is, a, is an example of a small, you know, relatively small boat. So you could sail in it. Directive from a picture taker. Stand straight or something. Uh, someone's taking your picture. They might say, you know, I'm not sure. It's probably stand something. Blank balls treat. Snowballs is a, is a confection that I don't even know if I've ever had one, actually. Kind of looks like an ice cream cone, I think, maybe. Or maybe no, maybe it's just a sphere. 
and it has coconut shavings on it or something. I'm not sure. Something like that. I'm sure it's the answer. Periodic gathering for heads of state, a NATO summit probably. So a meeting of heads of, is it really heads of state and not heads of government? That's really surprising. Surely they mean heads of government. Because, you know, the UK wouldn't send the monarch, it would send the prime minister. I mean, in the US, it's the same person, but in most countries, it's not. Huh. Anyway, maybe it is heads of state, I don't know. Uh, touches, e.g. Hmm. Not sure. Directive from a picture taker. Yeah, probably is. Oh, iPods? Oh, I see. Yes. iPod Touch was a model model of iPod um, sold by Apple, the music player. Okay, they're probably discontinued. I think all iPods are discontinued now. Uh, Van Gogh or Van Gogh or Van Gogh subjects are irises. Yes, famously painted the flowers, irises. Okay. Keeps from slumping. Props up. If you, I see, if you prop something up, you keep it from, from slumping over. So, ew, ew, ew. OMG, maybe? Sort of get it out of my face? I'm not sure. What about this? Uh, this doesn't look good. Where to find a set of small hammers? Um, I don't know. Is this something to do with the ear canal, maybe? The, that, that bone hammer in the ear? I'm not sure. World capital through which the Rimac River runs. Lima, maybe? Uh, Mahalo Nui Blank, Hawaiian for thank you very much. Oh, I'm not sure about this. Okay, we'll have to come back to this. Lena of uh, Chocolat. Uh, Lena Olin is an actor, so that I think that's probably... I actually haven't seen that film, but I assume this is the answer. Middle part. Act. Um, well, I was trying to think of act from a from a play or, or a other dramatic work, but in a single letter, it would need to be act one or five or ten, which would be surprising. Um, five would be the end of a sort of five-act Shakespearean structure, and one would obviously be the beginning. So maybe that's just just on the wrong track. Middle part. I, does this direct... Oh, no, no. I thought maybe it would end with us, but it doesn't. Stands... Oh, stand still. Right. That's what the, that's what the photographer is saying. Stand still. Good. So middle part. Oh, I see. Alto. So... Uh, um, part of the singing range, soprano, alto, alto, tenor, bass. I mean, there are other there are other vocal ranges, but alto is one of the middle parts in a work of choral harmony. Okay, so Mahalo Nui. Uh, what was this again? World capital. It probably is Lima. Mahalo Nui Loa. That sounds plausibly Hawaiian to me. For thank you very much. I uh, obviously I don't speak Hawaiian, but I but I think that that might be the case. So here we have Lima. I think that's probably right. Where to find a set of small hammers? A piano, of course. The tiny hammers hit the uh, hit the strings. Okay, dressage speed. A trot? No, a, a gait. Right. So the horse's gait is its speed, and dressage referring to uh, ho horse-related uh, kind of events and 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 sports. Okay, Blank Honey debut album for Radiohead. Pablo Honey was the name of Radiohead's first album, and. Much of Mongolia, the Gobi Desert. Playbill blurbs are bios, so you get those when you uh, attend a sort of Broadway show. You often get the Playbill book, and it will have bio biographies of the cast, maybe, and crew. Stinging insult could be a jab, maybe. You sort of fire a jab at someone, a stinging insult. Some traitorous transgressions. Hmm. Secret jobs. I don't think that's. I don't think secret is enough to imply traitorous. Let's keep going. Hot fixture at a buffet. Some kind of table. Hot fixture. Not sure. Joe, who co-authored 2009's *The Yankee Years*. I think Joe Torrey was a. Was he a manager or something of the Yankees? I definitely know that name at least. So that would be my guess here in five letters. Let's see if it if it holds. Feature of a rainforest canopy. Huh, not sure about that. Tracking, so to speak. If you're tracking someone, you're on to them, maybe? I'm not certain that's right, but I'm going to try it. Kind of error. User error is a, you know, as opposed to a bug in the code, 
I mean, which I guess ultimately still human error, but but, but not not of this sort. So user error, uh, the person using the software just did something wrong. Emulate Niobe mourns. Yeah, Niobe we wept. So that's right. In in myth, obviously. And then feature of a rainforest canopy mist. Is that would you call that part of the canopy? Don't actually know enough about that vocabulary. Oh, but this would be inside jobs. I see. So that that does imply uh, traitorous transgressions because an inside job means you're working against the person you purportedly were in league with. Okay, so I guess this this does look like mist, doesn't it? And then hot fixture at a buffet. Oh, steak table. Is that? I've never heard that phrase, steak table. I mean, I'm sure it's accurate and a thing that you would find at a buffet, but it, I, I'm just not familiar with the phrase. All right. Uh, Junipero Serra, for one, was a friar who, um, I mean, I remember this name learning about California history when I was when I was growing up. Um, one of the Spanish missionaries on you know, within the West Coast of what's now the U.S., um, primarily California. Okay, suits fits. So if something suits you, it fits you. And works on a crew. Hmm. Crew could could mean rowing, that kind of crew. Could mean crew as in obviously a team that does something. Could mean crew as in a sh type of shirt. I don't think it's that. Uh, go proceeder. Get set. Ready, get set, go. So that proceeds go. It comes before it. Make better. To make better is to I don't know why I still can't. Oh, mend, mend. If you mend an article of clothing, for instance, you, you'd make it better. That's That'll be right. Works on a crew. Oh, I was going to say crew could be socks, but it even less likely to, to be that. But it is that. It is that. Because if you, <laughs> if one works on a crew sock, crew sock, one darns the sock, one repairs or mends the sock. So these actually are very related to one another. So that is right. That is right. That's, that's very sneakily punny, punny there. Okay, paper for an animator, perhaps. A something to art degree? Yeah, okay. That could be a, a paper that an animator has received. I have more care to blank than will to go. I have more care to stay than will to go, for Romeo and Juliet. I mean, I don't specifically remember that line, but it sounds plausible. I'm in. Yes or yep? Oh. I was thinking maybe yep because it sounds a bit more kind of exclamatory, but but P here looks strange, so I don't think that's right. And they have deep pockets is the clue. So this probably ends with S. So I guess it is just yes. You haven't heard the best part yet. Wait, there's more, something like that. Or just there's it's simply there's more. That's it. Okay. You haven't heard the best part yet. There's more. Good. Work on an intaglio. Right, okay. I'm still not sure about this. Intaglio. Okay, Queen Suthita Bajra Sudaba Malala Lakshana, e.g. Thai? I mean, it looks like a plausibly Thai name to me. Apologies for my obviously inept pronunciation. Um, what about this? I, I'm not actually sure this is right. I'm going to check the crosses. Actress Barrymore with an eponymous Broadway theater. Uh, I mean, the Barrymore, the Barrymore family is a very long-running sort of acting dynasty. Um, but I'm not sure which one this is, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, gather together. If, if, if you meet, you gather together. Gym machine for rowing exercises informally. Oh, I think it's ERG. I don't, I never remember what this stands for, but, but I think that is a rowing machine, a term for rowing machine. So what's this? Actress Barrymore. I don't know. I mean, this might not be Thai. I don't, I don't. Fantasia conductor Stakowski, Stakowski. Uh, Leopold. I do know that that conductor Leopold Stakowski. I mean, not not deeply well in terms of his oeuvre, but I'm certainly familiar with the name. So what is? Oh, Ethel. Oh, so gather together is. This must be Ethel Barrymore. So then, what's this? Work. On, oh, is it etch? Is it a form of etching? Okay, I didn't remember that, but but that sounds plausible. So then, what about this? They have deep pockets, cargo pants, right? Yeah, very good. And obviously, deep pockets sounds like someone with wealth. Um, but nope, in this case, it refers to an actual garment. Redacted, say. If you redacted some information, you effectively hid it. So 
gather to, oh gather together herd right yes you can use herd as a verb you can say they're herding or that's herding behavior uh, they're gathering together okay good runs across if one runs across someone one spots them maybe i've spotted someone i ran across them i think that works oh God, i'd rather forget the whole thing oh this doesn't look right maybe this isn't steak table i thought that seemed strange fryer yeah that's right user that's right okay I... hmm trimmed paired maybe maybe this isn't spots runs across oh spans like a bridge running across a, a gap or a river or something it spans it there we go okay so stylish in appearance if you're smart you look put well put together and stylish so uh, i'd rather forget the whole thing don't remind me oh steam table okay that makes more sense i still don't know that actual term but i could imagine what it would be it would sort of be steaming food and keeping it keeping it hot okay so then what's this we didn't look at this toner product okay product in the skincare aisle so there we go a bit of cosmetics and then um i think we've seen everything else so i think i can put this in and there it is all right well there we go that was very much a friday puzzle i think not not brutally difficult but full of misdirection and punniness and that's really what robin weintraub's about she does she doesn't generally tune her puzzles to be at the most difficult level but they often have lots of trickiness that could really catch you out um, I mean, even include, I mean, even a clue that's not particularly punny paper for an animator, perhaps art degree, it's not really misdirection or punniness. It's just a very, it's just a very clever way to phrase it. I mean, it just sounds, it sounds like something maybe more specific than what it is. It sounds like it could be a phrase because you think of paper for an animator and you think that they're illustrating on the actual paper itself. And, uh, it's, it's just, it's just nice clue writing. It's good clue writing. Similarly, works on a crew. I mean, that's pretty devious, that one. Uh, that took me a while to understand. But it's just very clever phrasing. It's very clever cluing. Uh, and there we go. That was the Friday Themeless Crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back tomorrow for the Saturday Themeless Crossword, when we might take a bit of a step up in difficulty. So join me for that and find out just how much of a step up we take. Uh, until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Friday. Take care. Mm -hmm.